Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I'm finally getting to this pizza pan wreath I want to make. Um, I had a different idea for it in the summer, which I never got to, so now we're going to make this for fall. So what you're going to need is one of these pizza pans from Dollar Tree. Everything is from Dollar Tree that I'm going to be using, except for a little bit of spray paint. Um, other than that, I think everything else is from Dollar Tree except for the paint, of course, because you really can't get really good paint at Dollar Tree. So anyway, you're going to need your pizza pan. I'm going to use a piece of this um, wallpaper that they have at Dollar Tree now. I love this. It's self-adhesive, and I'm hoping that's going to stick real good onto this pizza pan. And I'm um, also going to use some of this white, thicker nautical rope. They have much thinner one, but the thicker one's going to work better for this project. So we're going to use that on here. I have some of the acorns from Dollar Tree, and I have this um, pumpkin that I got at Dollar Tree. Now this was on a stake. Like I said, I use these for all, I'm holding things up way too high, sorry. Um, these come on a stake, and I just bent it back and forth a couple times, and it just popped right off of there. But I love the color of this pumpkin, um, and that's what I'm kind of doing this whole thing is around is this pumpkin. And I have some leaves over here, and some cattails, and little cotton thing here, and all kinds of stuff that I'm going to mess around with here and figure out exactly how I want this. So the first thing I want to do is measure my um, wallpaper here. I already have one cut out, but I'm just going to show you guys how easy this was to cut out. All I did was fit this right up against this side, so it goes across. Now it's not going to be big enough, but we're going to cover that up with the nautical rope and some decorations so you're not going to notice that it doesn't fit. And then I just took my finger and I just ran it across the edge of the pizza pan there, like that. And on the other side too, you just want to push it down flat and just run around with your fingernail there and it makes this nice little line. I don't know, yeah, you can see that pretty good. It makes a nice line and you just cut that out with your scissors. So after it's all cut out, it kind of going to fit just like so. And like I said, we're going to have the nautical rope inside here, so you're not going to see, you know, the missing piece. Or if you had a smaller piece, you could always piece them together, I guess, too. It really wouldn't make any difference. But I want to take this outside, and I was trying to figure out what color I wanted to use for the outside of this. I don't have a color that matches this. Um, I have some in maybe there's a fly in here. Get out of here. Um, and some acrylics, but I don't think acrylics going to stick to this good enough. So I'm going to use some spray paint. And I had this left over from, I don't remember what did we use this on. Hmm. I don't know. I used it in one of the DIYs. But this is a metallic vintage brass. You could use whatever color you want. Depends on the color of your pumpkin. This doesn't match perfect, but it is a nice kind of a brown and a metallic since that pumpkin is a nice metallic. And I'm also going to spray that also with on this um, Welcome. This is one of the metal words. I've got this last year, I believe, at Dollar Tree. They have some other ones out this year. I think some of them are a lot thinner, but it doesn't matter. Whatever word you want to put on here, I figured I'd put a welcome on here. So I'm going to spray that with this too when I take it outside. And I'm just going to spray the edge. There's no need to spray the whole thing. I just want the edge to have a, a nice finished color. And I figure spray paint is probably going to be your best bet to sticking on here real well. And I don't know, if I think of anything else here, I'll let you know along the way, because you guys know I change my mind sometimes as we're going along here. But I'm going to take these out and get these all spray painted up, because I need that to dry while it's a nice day out here. And um, I'm just going to take these out, give them probably two coats of this, and then once that gets dry, uh, we can come back and start putting it together. All right, guys, I actually spray painted most of this thing, but not on purpose. Um, I mainly just wanted to do the edge, but I decided I'm just going to put this word here in the center and just spray that at the same time right on top of it. So look, that also works as a great stencil if you ever want to do that. <laughs> but that came out really good. So we're going to put that on later. And I have a piece scraped off here because I got a bug stuck in it. <laughs> just my luck. All right, so now we're just going to take our paper here and get that on. Hopefully that's going to not give me a hard time. So let's see. This just peels right off here. So I'm actually going to start and try to get this in here even. 
Hopefully that's good. I think so. And then we can just lift this up and peel the rest of the paper off. And you can do it a little bit at a time too, so you're not um, worrying about getting too many bubbles or anything. It's kind of easier to do it that way. stuff to craft with from Dollar Tree. Alright, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our nautical rope here. It always has a piece of tape on the end. I need a couple of finger protectors here. There we go. Because once I get this tape off of here, then you kind of want to put a little bit of uh, hot glue on the end, otherwise it'll start to unravel. Okay, usually this just comes off in one piece, but because I'm doing a video, it's not going to cooperate whatsoever. Come on. There we go. See how it starts to unravel like right away. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my hot glue here. As soon as I get my glue gun going. Just put some of that down in the end of it. And then you just kind of want to give it a good twist. And that will keep your end from unraveling on you. I'm going to put this piece down here on the bottom so we're not going to see the ends. So we're going to start down here with it because I'm going to add some leaves and stuff down here at the bottom so I figured that would be the best place to start with this. So we're just going to put some hot glue down here and get that started. And we're just putting this right inside this rim right here. So I might want to put... Ugh, this glue gun's not cooperating. This thing's just about had it, but I love this glue gun. There we go. And then you're just going to go around and around and around. Glue in your nautical rope. It's going to cover up that cut edge of your wallpaper. And ugh, this thing is not working well. I need another glue stick. All right. This is a very, very, very easy project if anyone wants to do this one. quite make it there because the paper is just a little bit too small so that's where we're going to like add a leaf or something. We gotta just make it work. stuck in this jute. There we go. Get rid of that. Oh. My glue gun is just so glued up. I've used this thing. Oh my god, I've been using the same glue gun for a long time now. But it's got glue kind of down in where the handle is and it just doesn't want to really need to sit and clean this thing out. off and put a little bit of glue in the end of that so it doesn't start to unravel on me, which it already is. Just 
got to have your finger protectors to do this. Otherwise, you can burn yourself. Because <laughs> I've done it. And you guys know many times I have these things on my finger and I end up using the other finger to do something. Because it kind of feels like you have a band-aid on your finger or something. So then I'll end up doing it with a different finger. All right, let's get this in here. And there we go. Eh, close. Close enough. All right, so there it is with our nautical rope in there. And now for my pumpkin, I'm going to use a little E6000 because the metal sometimes doesn't stick too well with hot glue or end up popping off on you. So one of these out of here. Um, make sure I got one that's not clogged up here to use. And of course, oh, this one's like almost dry. Okay, well, we'll get rid of that one. I need to get some new glues. I need to get a lot of new everything here. All right, this one's good. All right, so I couldn't figure out exactly how I was going to glue this on here because it's very hollow in the back. So what I did was I took four of these tumbling blocks and I just glued four of them together just like this and just with some of this super glue wood glue. So we made ourselves a little block and that's going to raise that up enough that we can get this glued on the back and that's what it looks like here. So we're just going to put that right in here and um, that's why I want to use some of the um, E6000 and then I'll add a little bit of hot glue just to keep us going here while that E6000 is drying. So there, we'll put that right in the middle of this, and that raises this up enough that we can glue this down on top of our... Oh, jeez. There was a tra trailer going up our hill out here, and it kind of scraped. That was loud. <laughs> All right. So there's my bottom. See, now that is just going to be raised up just a tiny, tiny bit, which is good because I want to tuck some leaves in and out of there. So let's see. This is going to go right here. So I think that is the perfect spot for this pumpkin. It's right about there. So again, I'm going to add some E6000 on here to make sure it sticks good. You don't need a lot. I probably used way too much on there because... Um, this stuff holds like crazy, and these things are pretty light. So I'm just going to add some hot glue, keep it in place for us while we're working here. And then we're going to put that right there. I think that will be good. Let me just hold this up. Yeah, that's good right there. All right, so press that down. And I wanted my leaves to stick up over, and then also it covers up that little spot where the paper was not quite long enough. All right, so that's going to go there. Then we're going to put our little words on here. Same thing, I'm going to use it with E6000 and a little hot glue to hold it for me while we're working here. But you're not going to need much of this on here because this, like I said, I'm just going to put a little dabs here and there. Mainly on my end pieces here. All right, and then I'm going to add a little hot glue, just so this will hold in place. And of course, I'm going to have hot glue when I need my hot glue. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me put a little more over that one. And maybe just a little there. I think that'll hold it in place for it just fine. All right. And um, let me hold this up here. I think that's good right there. And we'll have our welcome there. And it looks pretty good. Let's press it down there where the E6000 is and our hot glue. But I like using the hot glue because the E6000 takes like a good 24 hours to dry really, really well. So if you just add a little hot glue, it'll hold right in place for you like a little clamp. So that is how that looks so far. I just love this pumpkin. Love it, love it, love it. It's just very different, the colors. Oops, I'm going to need... No, I don't really need that. All right. So now I have some of these um, acorns 
These are the new acorns that they have at Dollar Tree this year. I'm not a big fan of the colors. These are the old ones that they used to have. Um, I really like these. So I did take one of these out and I just put a little bit of this, um, what is this? This is burnt umber um, chalk paint. Oh no, that's acrylic paint, sorry. And I just put some of it on there and then I rubbed it, just kind of rubbed it off with my finger because that's why my fingers are always a mess. And that kind of browned it up a little bit and I think that looks much better. So I figured I'll use a few of these old ones that I had left over. That one I used on something else apparently. Um, and just, you know... So now I'm just going to set some of these things around here to see where I want them. I like that there. Um, these are pretty loose. This is, this is just one of the branches from Dollar Tree. I think I want another one this color up there. And that's why I like having this raised up a little bit, because I can just kind of tuck them underneath there a little bit. I like that, so that's where that's going to go. And I'm just going to hook it to the nautical rope. Hold that right underneath that one, and we're going to put this one over here with just a little hot glue, and that will hold that one there. So a few of these leaves up here, and then down here is where I'm going to put the majority of these leaves. Um, and I also have these little, um, this whole little bouquet they're calling this. It has the cattails, and it has pine cones, and it has little cotton thing on there. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet, but we're just going to put some of these leaves. I'm just going to set these here for now to see how I want them. I don't want a ton. I don't want this real, you know, like, I don't know, overly done, if that makes any sense. Maybe I want this one to go up. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that going up, so we're going to put that one right there. Face them up that way. And I'm going to tuck that one under here, and I have a stem on my glue gun. <laughs> here we go. Just tuck that one under that one a little bit. And then this one I guess we'll put over here. I think I want to tuck that one under too. There we go. And I kind of want one of these lighter colors in here. I don't know if I want any more here. Yeah, maybe we can just keep going here to the ends of the words. That might make sense. Um, do I have another light one? That might be too bright. Uh, let's see. Well, this will work. All right. So we're just going to tuck that one. I don't want to cover the words up at all, so... Mm, that's a little bit too big. I'm going to need a smaller one. Well, we're just going to have to go with the darker color, that's all. That's all there is. Some of these are bent up. Can you know how these things are crammed into those holders at Dollar Tree? Is enough leaves on here. And now I'm going to add, let's see, what do we want to add to this? Do I want to use this cotton thing on the bottom here? I might put that in the center. I don't know. I always have these. I have so many of these little cotton things, and I just, I'm not sure what these are supposed to be called. But anyway, <laughs> you guys will tell me. So I might add that down here in the center just for a little pop of something. But I really want to get these acorns in here. So if I'm going to use this, I really need to do that first. Alright, so let's put that right in the center there. And you know what, if you don't like it, you can pull it back off. <clears throat> i got to use one of these once in a while here. I just never seem to get around to using them. And then maybe just a few of these little acorns here. Just a couple. 
like I said, I don't want a lot of stuff on here. I really, really don't. So I'm already kind of getting too much on here. You know, of how I was picturing this, so... Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that on here. It may come off. I was looking for some of my little mini mums, but I don't know where they're at. I don't know if... I must have used them all up. I don't see any in any of my flower buckets. I don't see any in my fall bucket here. No, here's some down here. Oh, I found a few of them. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm taking that off while it's still not cooled down enough. I don't like it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We're going to add some of these little mini mums instead. Let's see if I have another one here. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're going with the mini moms. I was not digging that other thing there. Alright, so we'll just put three little mini moms there instead. And I think that looks much better. So I think that is all I'm going to do to this thing here. Besides get the glue webs off of it. Um, I don't know, may need another acorn up here. Or something. I'm gonna hang it up and see what I decide. I just wanted it to be kind of simple. And actually, I think I'm done. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else to this except the hanger on the back, and that's gonna be just a pipe cleaner and some hot glue back there. And maybe a little E6000 on that too, because just to make sure it's gonna hold on there good. But yeah, I think that's it. So let me grab a pipe cleaner here, and I'm going to get that glued on the back. Oh, I forgot this. This has to go back on, too, this little bow. This one I actually took off another one, because the one that was on here was really, really crooked. So we're just going to glue that back on here. <clears throat> there we go. I'm really loving this. I love it, love it, love it. All right, let me get my pipe cleaner so we can get a hanger on this thing, and then we can hang it up and see how it looks. All right, I found another one of my brown pipe cleaners. It doesn't matter what you use because you're not going to see it. It's going to be on the back. So I'm going to fold it in half. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. And then just kind of give it a twist just so it'll stay together as one piece. And then this piece I'm going to fold up just a little bit to really grab into the glue. <clears throat> And I'm just going to twist this to make it one. And there we go. This will be our hanger that we're going to put on the back here. And that little loop there will hold some of that glue in there pretty good too. So, we are going to pray that we get this on here. So, I like to spread these out a little bit like this. Just in case I don't have it in the exact same spot, you have a little bit of wiggle room. But I think that looks pretty good, like right here. So I'm going to add a little E6000 right here on this thing. And then we're going to cover this up with a little bit of hot glue. And I am going to take this in place so it can get a chance to cool off. There we go. You know, it's stuck down in there. Well, it was stuck down in there nice. I need something to push on that little thing. Ah, oh, give me one of my little chopsticks. And then this one over here. There we go. That's sticking good now. I'm going to put a little bit of glue under that. Of the E6000. My lid. And then we're going to stick that down in there with a whole bunch of this hot glue around it. Just to hold that baby in there. And then once this dries really good, then you can kind of bend this wire so when you're hanging it up, um, you know, you have, like I said, a little wiggle room to make sure that it's going to hang straight. So we're just going to tape that down there for a few minutes till everything cools off. Make sure that's down in my hot glue good. And you can peel some of this other hot glue off the back here if you don't. Or you could cover this up with something too. Um, especially if you're going to hang this like on a window or something, you might want to, I don't know, cover these up maybe with some felt pieces or something 
to make it look a little bit nicer, but mine's going to be on a wall, so I'm not going to worry about that so much. So that is it. That's all we're going to do. As soon as that cools off, and I'm going to clean off some of these glue webs, we're going to hang this up and see how it looks. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this project. I've been wanting to get to this pizza pan wreath for a long time. I think I may be doing more of these because I really, really like this a lot. So I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.